We've been doing this whole RV thing for a few years now, and the one thing we're missing is uh, is is one of those. But our friends at Barlow hooked us up with this bad boy, and uh, life just got way way better. This is the Barla Eagle One. This is an electric scooter that can supposedly do 40 miles an hour. Now when you get it out of the box, it comes almost fully assembled. It's bent over like this, and you have to attach the handlebars. And it has a really cool thing, this clip right here. So you unclip it to get the handlebars up, but then when the handlebars are down in order to transport it, you clip it right here, and now I can just pick it up and take it wherever I want. And wherever I want is kind of the big deal. It's 82 pounds because it's a heavy duty off-road scooter, but you can take it anywhere. Like this is one thing I wish we had had when we were traveling full-time in the RV. And we may or may not be buying a boat that we can possibly sleep on. So this is going to be like huge for us. I've had it for a few weeks and I've used it a lot and I freaking love it. Just let me share some key features with you. So we unclip it here and to set up the scooter so you can ride it, you simply screw this thing in and then bam, it's super secure. And we have this pin here as kind of a backup. So in case that comes undone, which it doesn't, um, you're, you're still safe. It comes with some cool stuff right out of the box. Mine came with two chargers. You might have to order a second one separately, but that's super cool because we have two charging ports and we can charge the battery twice as fast by using both of these ports. Just using one port and one charger, it charges completely in like nine or 10 hours, but with two chargers, it charges in five or six hours. Also included in the box, you get stickers in case you don't like this one down here. They give you uh, a few more options. We got some Varla, Varla, we got the skull, bam. And we've got that Spider-Man Varla looking thing. And we also have another board like this one is super wide if you put it on here it's got like two or three more inches on either side uh, uh, let's just look at it here it is big old board much bigger than that there and you have some uh, some sticker options that's actually super cool very thoughtful varla we also have a multi-tool that's got all these allen wrenches and sockets and i mean this is kind of cool i've actually used it already for minor tightening things and we have one wrench that, that you can possibly use now what it doesn't have is a lock though it does have some security which i'll show you so we uh we got one of these probably want a better one than this but uh you know you can loop it through uh here right there secure this beast but you should do that people are going to see this and they're going to want it one other thing it came with is uh this amazing high-tech bell, which, uh, Lila, you can have that. This scooter is extremely heavy duty. It's got dual suspension front and back. I mean, look at the size of that shock. And this, the rear fender, that's like solid aluminum that is welded. And in the front, we have the same shock situation. And this thing does really, really well off-road. In fact, look at this. When I first got it, I was in Utah and did some off-roading. Look at this stuff! Besides the crazy suspension, it's got these 10-inch, kind of all-terrain tires, not really street, not really off-road, but kind of kind of not bad for both. And the thing that makes this really go are these two 1,000-watt motors. There's one here in the front and one here in the rear, and you can choose to use one motor or both. If you choose to use just one, you'll get a little more mileage. And with two, you're gonna just go faster. In fact, we'll do a speed test later, see how fast we can actually make it go. And they allow it to climb hills up to 30 degrees, which I proved when I was there in Utah. The motors, the suspension, and the heavy-duty build quality allow it to handle a person up to 330 pounds. I'm pushing 200 pounds, and I could fly on this thing up and down virtually anything. As long as you uh, keep these charging ports closed, it's got an IP rating of 54, which means it does okay with dust and splashes. Under this deck is a 52-volt, 20.8 amp-hour lithium-ion battery, which gives it a range of up to 42 miles if you're driving it under perfect conditions. With its heavy-duty build quality, Quality, humongous battery and insane power. You could totally use this as a commuter if you're probably within about 20 miles of work. Yeah, it gets uh, way better mileage than your car or especially my truck. It has beefy dual hydraulic disc brakes, which allow you to stop on a dime. This is how fast we can stop. And 
Oh yeah. This <laughs> I've had this thing on concrete, asphalt, dirt, gravel, and sand. And the only thing it didn't love was the sand, but it did great with everything else. Oh, it also has these brake lights, hit the brakes, and they light up bright. So you can, you know, drive in traffic if you're being safe and smart and wearing a helmet. Let's talk about the tech. First, it's got this awesome color LCD screen. To turn it on, you just hold the power button right here. Took me a second to figure out, but that means hold the NFC card here. They give you a two, you could put them on your key or just leave them here so people can steal it more easily. And bam, look at this beautiful screen. And let me just show what each of these things do because it wasn't immediately clear to me what they all do. This is the dual motor indicator. You have that on probably most of the time so you can accelerate faster, go faster, and burn through your battery faster. You can switch to one battery. If you hold the plus button right here, it turns it off. See how that went off? And then turn it back on by holding it again. Do not do this while you are driving. Right here we have the we have the battery at 90%. We've got a visual representation. Here we've got our speed. You can change it in settings to miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And here we have the gears or the power assist modes. It starts at one, which lets you go about six miles an hour. We're gonna run through them and see how fast we get on each one. And to change it so you can go faster, like you'll want it set here if you're just starting out or you're somebody that's not experienced as using it. But if you just hit these, these plus signs right here, watch. Two, three, four, and five. And at five, that's when you can do 40 miles an hour in theory. All right, let's check the different speeds right now. We're gonna go to one. So right here, set to one. Let's see how fast we go. A little bit of a downhill, so we'll go a little faster than normal. And boom, at one, we're going six miles an hour. You see that? Now let's hit two. Woo! And two, at two we're doing 15 miles an hour. Let's try three. Solid 20 miles an hour, four. Looks like we're hitting 29, 30 on four. And five, we're gonna cheat a little bit and go downhill and see if we can hit. Here's five. Woo! I saw 46. Now, yeah, we were going down, going down the hill, so we were kind of cheating, but uh, not, not bad, right? Using the power button, we can switch between the odometer, the trip odometer, and the battery voltage, which is 57.9, which is fully charged on this 52 volt battery. By the way, that's a, a thumb thrall right there. If I touch that now, I will for sure fall on my butt because that is on. There are more settings. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I am gonna show you how to get to the additional settings. If you hold down the plus and the minus sign for a really long time, it's like 10 seconds, you get into this mode here, these P settings, and we are on setting 00. zero. To cycle through the different settings, you just hit the power button here and watch it cycles. The one we want to worry about is number six. Six is your launch speed, just like a race car. When you're down here at one, it takes off pretty easily, but using the plus and minus keys, we can go to two, three, four, and on five, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna see what that does in a minute. All right, this is launch with level one, so you can kind of get a feel for how it launches. One, two, three, go. This is full throttle. And let's see how long it takes us to get up to top speed with that slow launch. Okay, we hit 40 once we got flat. Now we're gonna switch to the fast launch mode. Hold down these two buttons, remember? One, two, three, four, five. And we'll go back and we've got a fast launch mode. I just want you to feel how much faster this launch is. And go. Hear that front tire spin. Woo! Yeah, this thing is, this thing is spicy, baby. And we are going uphill again. This thing is very smooth. You could totally take this to work every day. No trouble at all. So what do I, what do I really think about this scooter? Well, to be honest, this thing is freaking fun. It is the most fun I've had since I had a CRF 450 Honda doing motocross. Oh! And that was a few years ago. But the, the good news is it's very useful. When we were stealth camping in our truck, couple weeks ago looking to buy a boat. We were living out of the back of our truck. And to get around, I just I just hopped on this thing. I did it for fun, for getting stuff, for getting around. It was it was amazing. We may or may not have just closed on a boat today that uh, is gonna need a way to, to get around. So when you're on a boat, you sail places, you don't have a car with you. But this scooter weighs 82 pounds. It's going with us everywhere. Hopefully all over the world eventually. So this is perfect. Plus for our RV, man, I've needed this thing so badly for so long for our RV just, just to get around because you know you got your humongous truck and your trailer and they're just a pain to take anywhere. So this is not only 
insanely fun. It is insanely useful. There is a link for 60 bucks off in the description below. That's an affiliate link, so please check this out. I, I promise you, if you're looking for another way to get around or a commuter vehicle or something to go with your RV or your boat or your tent, this thing is the bomb. And to see how a sailboat tried to kill us last year, it started raining. Thunder and lightning, can you hear that? Now we are currently waiting to be rescued. You're gonna wanna click on, uh, never do this one-handed. This video, this video right there. Mm -hmm.